coming to you all the way from Norfolk, Virginia. Go on podcasts presents the sex parts. Beep, 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 Turn on your computer. Dial up the web. Download some information into your head. It's Dr. John and Delilah. They're having a great time. Uh, that had to do it simply true. We're the sex parts. And we're recording and entry music, entry music, entry music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair of Delilah's uh, Asset Liquidator. That's right. Asset Liquidator, AL for short, or DAL. You mean you get rid of something? I will sell it immediately. Wow. Using my tried and true uh, <laughs> practice. Um, <laughs> Man, you're pretty immediate today. I've been Delilah. selling shit all day and my I'm just fried. Yeah. Um, but you, my, my techniques have sold every single thing I've ever tried to sell within under 24 hours. Using oh my, my techniques. God. You could sell the shirt off your back. If you price it right. If, is that a thing? No, he would give. No, that's if you were generous. If you were generous, you'd give him the shirt off your back. So keep your shirt on. All right. Uh, we are the sex birds. We're off topic already. Uh, I am... Um, wait, I already went over. I'm Dr. John. Uh, listen, sex birding is getting harder and harder. Uh, you would think because the, the pandemic is slowing down. It, it, well, sex birding is speeding up. It's, it's ramping up. Ain't it Delilah? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was nice to be recognized as an essential employee <laughs> for my sex birding, yeah. uh, throughout this pandemic. Mm-hmm. It's nice to be, um, put at the head of the line for vaccinations because people understand that without sex birding, they're. There really is no sex. That's right. And we're, we're bringing you, we're, we're taking all the sex expertise. We're bringing it back to this podcast. We're disseminating it. Uh, we're emanating it straight into your pie hole or ear or ear holes. So um, listen, we're coming to you live every week from a different location with a different topic of the day, uh, topic of the week. And right now I'm still in my recording bunker. Mildred, my wife, she's still in an iron lung. We just we're, we haven't really you know got out very much, and we're still going to stay in just a little bit longer. We're not going to go to spring break. Unlike me, yeah, I'm at a swap meet in Nashville. Oh wow! Outside okay. Nashville. Okay. Um, well, let's get to our topic of the day uh, because uh, I think we've already started talking about it. But um, we know that uh, with a couple of the vaccines, that you need two doses. That means one shot in the arm and another shot in the arm. Shot, 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 shot. So that means. Two pricks will get you sick. That's our topic of the day. We're talking about um, talking about threesomes. Uh, one of the it's called a devil's threesome, where there's two penises and one whatever, and uh, also there's two vaccines and one arm. So we'll talk about uh, two pricks will get you sick in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and get our <laughs> special guest in here. Come on in here. Welcome. Howdy. How are you doing today? Well, I'm fine. I detect a little accent. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to our audience out there? I am Ida B. Wells, a.k.a. the human bacon maker. Ida B. Wells, the human bacon maker. Now, I saw you late at night on some like local access talk show, and I was like, I got to have Ida B. Wells on here. Um, now, I saw it myself, but why don't you tell our audience, how do you how are you the human bacon maker? So what I do, you usually make bacon from a pig, but I make bacon from humans. Yeah, I go and uh, I find different humans that are willing to give me some of their meat. And I take the meat and I grill it up. Consensual bacon. Consensual. Oh, of course. Consensual bacon. Now, if I needed to lose weight, would that be a, a method upon which I could lose some? Well, it depends if I need really fatty bacon. Then it's great for losing weight because, like, I go and I fatty. Yeah, you call no, Delilah I'm just fatty. saying, I take the fat with it. I you go don't have to be fat to want to lose weight. I well, yeah, but I understand this. But you still should have a little bit of fat on you. Like, I don't want to get all gristle for my bacon. No one likes a bacon that's all gristle. Nobody really likes a bacon that's human. <laughs> How is there dare much of a market? You? Is there much of a market for this? Yeah. When I was growing up, my grandfather who lived through the Dust Bowl told me all about the times they would make bacon out of the humans. I'm more of a uh, turkey bacon guy. Wow. (laughs) Yeah, well, 
I, I gotta say, I, I was watching this, Delilah. I don't think you, you watched this program. I told you, you know, sometimes I, I, I text you and I say, hey, Delilah, you gotta turn this on right now. And you were probably sleeping or, or doing something. I got rid of cable. Oh, what? Okay, well, anyways, I, yeah, I was like, you gotta turn on this right now. So what happened is uh, Ida actually got a volunteer out of this cable access, like, mm-hmm. audience and actually, like, showed us, like, took off a part of this dude's calf and made some bacon out of his calf. Yep. Mm. And then I went and I was handed out to the audience and nine of them said this tasted like bacon. And then the rest of them all probably vomited. Is that crazy? Yeah, uh, I was not a fan of that reaction. I got to be honest. For some reason, people don't like that. I make bacon out of humans instead of pigs like everyone else. Was was Jesus the first to make a man bacon when he said, take this? This is my body, which will be given up for you. Well, that's what we was that, believe. Was it in bacon form? <laughs> when I was raised by my father, he was part of a bacon cult. And he uh, believed that Jesus was the first to create bacon. And just like we ate of Jesus's flesh, we eat of people flesh. Well, I didn't know that this was this had like religion involved. Now, this is fascinating. A lot of people think that we are a sex cult, but we're not. We're just sex experts. We're we're very atheistic. We, we are, are mm. secular, uh, as you might say. Now, uh, secular makes me think of the word testicle, like testicular, secular, which uh, brings us to our topic today. I want I want to hear your perspective, Mr. I.B. Wells, um, on two pricks will get you sick because a lot of people after their second vaccination shot, they get sick as a dog, but not as sick. As when you would actually get COVID, so we're gonna actually talk about ways that you can actually What's stave off. What's the best off- way to cook that bacon? Sorry, John. Oh, that, that, Sorry, that's Dr. okay. John. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. No, 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 go ahead. I just uh, I can't get over this thing. Human bacon. You're supposed it to just, bake it. it you're supposed to broil it. Microwave it, just, it. Well, it just depends. How do you like your bacon, Delilah? I like it made out of turkey meat and baked. Well, I can't help with that. But uh, if you like bacon, you go ahead and you just grill it up. And just when the fat starts popping, that's when the party starts rocking. That's what it says on the back of every packet. Now, I, why have I never seen this in the grocery store? Uh, because it is banned in every country except Thailand. Yeah, this is just for Thai people, or well, for Americans on vacation. No, like when you're see, done with your audio of audio erotic asphyxiation, you go get some human bacon. So, see, what I do is I go <laughs> to the supermarket and I open up packs of regular bacon. <laughs> And then I replace the regular bacon with Wait the bacon. Wait a second, Mr. B. Wells. That is, that is, that's on, 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 that's dishonest. <laughs> that is. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I thought, that's I thought harsh. you were going to come out with a, with a real harsh thing there, but you just landed on a word that was it's fraud. It it's is fraud. not fraud. It's quid pro quo. I have looked on the bacon <laughs> box and nowhere on Delilah. the bacon box does it say this was not made from people. So Delilah just it's coined collusion. Delilah just coined two new phrases, quid pro quo, which is <laughs> this for crow. Like in the olden days, you used to exchange favors for crow. And then earlier, yeah. instead of auto erotic asphyxiation, he said audio erotic. <laughs> so that's what this that's podcast is. That's you took is. yourself with the... Uh, Cables from your radio in your car. <laughs> oh, that don't that sounds like a good topic for a later episode. We don't want to dig too oh, much into that. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ida B. Wells. See, look at yeah. that. You are a very good co-host. Hey, he's already got a co-host here, Mr. B. Wells. Uh, listen. Hey, well, maybe I want to be a co-host. All right, that's it. It's time for a co-host off. All right, here we go. Um, <laughs> we'll start off. There's a coin. My flip. job's on the line. <laughs> your job's on the line. Oh, <laughs> already interrupting the host. That's a that's not a point in your Uh-oh. favor there, Delilah. Uh, point to Ida B. Wells. Be the judge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk back. Okay. All right. So, uh, coin flipped was uh, backstage. <laughs> coin flipped. I can't talk either. There was a coin flip backstage, and uh, Ida B. Wells is going first. Uh, and okay. this is introducing me. Okay. You have to introduce me on this show. Okay. And uh, you get 10 points if you introduce me well. All right. Ida B. Ida B. Go. Please welcome to the stage the one, the only. Dr. John T. Alanese. <laughs> Hello. That was great. That was pretty good. Thank that you. was thank you. But you forgot I'm a senior certified professional midwife. So we'll probably do about five points out of ten. Delilah, here we go. Pick up the slack. Introduce me. Go. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your co-host, Delilah Haydair of The Sexperts, welcoming you to the episode. Now, let's give it up for your sexpert of your dreams, Dr. John Aliquippa. <laughs> Wait, did you not remember the name of the person that you have co-hosted this with? I ran out of oxygen. You were doing <laughs> Dr. John T. Alan Okay. Um, all right. Well, I, you turn. You were turning blue. You did run out of oxygen. I'll give you maybe four points. Okay, so it's four to five. Um, okay, let's go to back. What's to, the next challenge? The next challenge is I'm trying, which happens a lot. I'm trying to think of a word, and I just can't come up with the word. So you have to fill in the blanks for me. And the closer okay. you are to what I was thinking, the the more points you get out of ten. Okay, so uh, here it. we go. Let me let me start my sentence. And um, okay, all right. So yesterday uh, I was in the library. And I tripped, and when I tripped, I reached my hand out, and I, I just, I, I was thinking about the, what the, 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 the you know, the, um, the, uh, the way that when you look at the sunset and it yeah. catches your eye across the beautiful, beautiful ocean that it reminds you of home. Yes, ten points. That is exactly what I was thinking about. Ida B. Wells. That is. We are simpatico here. Okay, um, uh, Delilah, here we go. Now, <laughs> don't pass maybe out. You, maybe you like man me too, Dr. John. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, here we go. Here's your challenge. Um, okay, so um, yesterday I was at this uh, cookout, and um, uh, the, uh, 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 oh, um, he, uh, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, oh, this is where I fill in. <laughs> yeah, it's still I let go. Uh, <laughs> you, you know, uh, you were uh, at the cookout and you were like, Delilah always tells me he has that third testicle. I've never seen the third testicle. I have my doubts that he has a third testicle, but ultimately, when it comes down to it, thick and thin. I trust Delilah, and so I'm just going to go with the fact that he has a third testicle. Yes, that is correct, although you slipped into Ida B. Wells' accent, so you can't be awarded the full points, so you'll get nine, nine out of ten, but that was actually really good. To be fair, to be fair, that is not just Ida B. Wells' accent. That's my accent every sixth or seventh episode. (laughs) Basically, when you remember that it's supposed to be your no. Accent. Basically, when we have a guest on who talks like you do, whether or not they eat. Oh people, well, excuse me. I'm whether so or not sorry. They skin people meat real thin, put salt on it, and cook it in a. It is consensual. <laughs> right, but it's still not right. I mean, you're not look, wrong. Look, I saw season one through three of Lost. I know right and wrong when it comes to eating people. Wait, I never saw through season three. Do they eat people in Lost? I don't think they do. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, we have one more. One no, more they just challenge. survived off of island food. Sure. I know there was an episode of The Bachelorette where they consumed a foot, but uh, the Lost <laughs> I do not remember that. Oh, real world Las Vegas, they ate an ass. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like a, a human butthole ass or? Yeah, <laughs> a human butthole ass. <laughs> yeah, or you know, like an ass is you know a donkey. I I I want to trademark the phrase "human butthole ass" just to use whenever I would like. Oddly, a human butthole ass is kosher, and a donkey ass is not. Well, that's because there's a lot of milk in a donkey, and the milk and cheese—you can't get the milk in the meat. Touch. All right, we got. But there's no milk in butts. We got one more challenge because rule threes and whatnot. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> we're doing. Uh, I want a bumper sticker that says there's no meat and butts. No milk and butts. <laughs> no milk and butts. Oh, I want you to have a bumper sticker that says there's no meat and butts. So oh, there's you know a lot you of meat and butts. You know, Guys, I don't have a butt anymore because I cut it off to make bacon out of it. All right, we got to sell this on the dance floor because the final challenge is a dance off, but that doesn't really translate well to podcast. Let me do something different. Um, what if we describe <laughs> what we're doing as we're dancing? Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Here we go. <laughs> go. Ida B. Wells, dance and describe. I slowly take off my leather vest, which is the only thing I'm wearing on my top. I pull it down off of my shoulders, exposing <laughs> shoulders that have no fat on them because I've carved it all off with my bacon knife. Then I go and I take the vest and I swing it around. I'm shaking my booty. I'm shaking my booty. Oh, no. Some milk falls out of my butt. <laughs> and then I go and I start doing the Macarena, but it's like in reverse. And so you're like, oh, it's the Anna Rasaman. Which is Macarena spelled backwards. Uh, how? And then you're so impressed that then you start dancing. And then we're kissing. <laughs> and then, like, we're just licking each other's mouths. And we're going and you're saying, ooh, Ida, make me into bacon. And I'm saying, no, I can't do that to you. And you say, but I want you to. So I go and I cut the fat off your back. <laughs> oh my and then I throw it on the grill. And then as it's dancing... As the little, you see the little fat popping and it's going pop, 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 pop. And I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, party time, party time. And I'm swinging my arms around my head so fast oh. that my hand comes off and smacks a child. Oh. Uh, okay. You lost, you lost me at eating people. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's call time on that one. Wow, that was quite a dance. Uh, uh, evidently, Del there's no time limit. <laughs> Delilah, <laughs> actually, we're re we're instating, not reinstating. We're instating. Oh, because he used all my time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, all right, we're claiming my time. <laughs> Delilah, well, I, here we go. I, on your mark. I don't need much time. Get set. Dance and describe. Dance and describe. Two words. Jazz hands. Two more words. Hip thrust. <laughs> jazz hand. Hip thrust. Jazz hand. Hip thrust. I hand you a pregnancy test. You pee in it. Oh, my goodness. You're already pregnant. <laughs> Jazz hands. Hip thrust. <laughs> Jazz hands. Hip thrust. Oh, look at that. The baby's already born. Looks like me. Jazz hands. Hip thrust. <laughs> Jazz hands. Hip thrust. Oh, it got a scholarship. We don't have to pay for it to go to college. Jazz hands. Hip thrust. Jazz hands. Hip thrust. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It got elected president of the United States and it made eating people illegal. Oh, okay. That's it. The end. That's it. There you go. Jazz hands, hip, hip thrust. Wait, are you saying that eating people isn't illegal right now? Because my lawyers have said the opposite. <laughs> well, he, my my jazz hand hip thrust baby just added a constitutional amendment, so there's no confusion. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, there is um, an aggressive campaign against me and my human bacon, actually, to oh. add an amendment to the Constitution saying people should not be eaten. Okay, let's get to our Sorry, topic I, I of the day. Hear you had my jazz hands in my ears. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is that a wet willy? <laughs> it's, okay. Why are your jazz it's hands so covered with saliva? Is I think the question we should be asking. Oh my god, am I am I craving man flesh bacon? <laughs> yeah, you are. All this talk of salty human mm. meat. Okay, All listen. This, the lean, no, no, lean cut mm -hmm. of tight ass. No. <laughs> yeah, no, it's God. the forbidden fruit. Listen, it's what Adam ate from the tree of knowledge was a apple made of human flesh. All right, forbidden fruit of the loom. We got to get to our topic of the day, guys. Our topic of the day is two pricks will make you sick. Uh, the second Pfizer vaccine. Uh, you will experience side effects, not unlike if you were to be boned by two dudes with two pricks. Um, well, that's 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 listen. What? I, I I need to confess something. Oh, no. What? I, I my cholesterol is 283 because all I eat is human bacon. It's all I've been eating. <laughs> Wait, you actually eat? I, 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 I'm like ashamed of it. So I, I talk like I hate it, but I honestly eat it. Two to three meals a day. Holy it's shit! The best tasting bacon I've ever had. I thought life. I thought I recognized you. You're the only person that's in my Patreon. <laughs> yeah, I I, my, I, my I human bacon to, Patreon. I fly to Thailand once a month. I I wrap tape duct tape packages of human bacon to my human bacon, and I fly back in coach, and uh, then I'm good for about three weeks. Well. Wow. Well, this is so nice. The only reason that that I'm able to survive and make this is because of the money that I make from Thailand. And I think you might be the only person buying these things, Delilah. 
Uh, there's never a line. Never a line. Yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, I, 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 I'm glad that we had this reconcili- reconciliation here, but uh, we have to get to is, our, is our topic of the day. everyone just having mini strokes today <laughs> and just like halfway through a word, uh, just like... I know why well, I'm having mine. Wait, I know uh, why I'm having mine. I've got a triple bypass coming from all this human <laughs> bacon. Uh, Ida, Ida, is that is that the FBI behind you? Where do they... Oh, my God. It's not the FBI, but it is the FDA Oh, they no. come for me again. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, they're taking. Oh, they're taking. I, oh, no. That's, that's our you podcast. You put that man guest. down. That man is a hero. You put that man down. That man is a hero. Oh, uh, help it, me. It, it, okay. Before you go, Ida B. Wells, do, do you have any plugs? Anything you want to uh, promote? Anything? Yeah. Go buy Ida B. Wells' human bacon. You could get it in one shop in Bangkok. And what's your Patreon? So you ha- what's your Patreon? My Patreon is www.humanbacon.com. <laughs> Ida B. Wells. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Dollars a month. I will send you my liver. Okay. Well, I'm so sorry. We had a great guest and we had something good going, but the FDA fucking ruined another one of her sex episodes. So uh, that's all the time we have on this experts. I'm your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm Delilah Haydair. And um, if you're trying to sell something, just price it way below what it's worth. It'll sell. See you sex time. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening to the Sexperts podcast that go on podcast production. If you like what you heard and you want to keep this little show going, then please consider donating at paypal.me slash sexperts podcast or donate a dollar a month at patreon.com slash sexperts podcast.